Hi folks, Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the responsive design time feature, which allows you to create protective regions on your timeline, so when you're nesting compositions inside of each other, you can protect the timing of any area of animation. I'll delete these protective regions and show you how to create them from scratch. To delete them, I'm just gonna right click over here on the far left on a marker and choose delete all markers. There are a couple of ways that you can create protective regions. You can come up to the top menu, click on composition, responsive design time. You can choose create intro if you wanna create a protective region at the beginning of your composition or create outro, which is going to create a protective region at the end. You can also create a work area. So if I drag the playhead and tap N to create a work area, I can go back to that composition menu, responsive design time, and choose create protective region from work area. When I click that, now that entire work area is a protective region. The other way that you can create protected regions is to add composition markers. So with no layers selected, I'm gonna drag the CTI to the beginning of the timeline. I can go up to the top menu, click on layer, markers, add marker. I can also use the keyboard shortcut. Just tap on the asterisk key, that's shift eight. Or you can just come over to the far right of your timeline. So just drag the CTI where you want to add the marker. Just click on the marker icon. That's going to add a marker. Then just double click on the marker. That's gonna open up the composition marker dialog box. You can set the duration if you know exactly how long you want your protective region. You can add a comment or a note. I'm just gonna call this intro. You can give it a color label. Then right here, you'll see responsive design time. I'm just gonna tick the box, then click okay. Now I did not put a duration, so I'm gonna to need to extend this to fit the time. So I'm just gonna click and drag it out to that second keyframe. And now I'll do the same for the outro of the animation. So I'm gonna drag the CTI to that first keyframe. With no layers selected, I'm gonna click on the composition marker icon to the far right of the timeline that adds a marker. I'm just gonna double click on it. I'll call this one outro. I'll give it the same color. Click on protected region, click okay. And then I'm just going to manually adjust the timing by clicking on the end and dragging it to that second keyframe. And if you wanna move a protective region, just click on the far left of it and you can drag it around anywhere you want on your timeline. Now I'm going to drag or nest the logo comp into the main comp. So I'll go to the project panel, select the logo comp and drag it into the main composition. And now if we look in the layer, you'll see there is the intro protected region and the outro. Now when you move this layer around or if you add time remapping or you stretch to change the speed, the intro and outro original animation speeds are protected. And to make changes, if you double click on the logo comp, I'll move the protected region down the timeline a little bit. I'll also select the keyframes and move those. When you go back to the main comp, notice it did not adjust automatically. All you have to do, go to the layer menu, go to markers, and choose update markers from source. When I click that, that protective region is going to update or any changes that you made will automatically update. And that is how to use responsive design time protected regions in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.